Okay, so we're ready to go. We're here with uh, Vivian from West Africa. That's the most amazing smile. Thank you for being with us here today. Thank you for having me, Alan. Yeah, it's so great to have you. And uh, I understand it's a, it's a bit of a holiday out there. Uh, Independence Day, is that, is that how you call yeah. it? Yeah, it's our in Independence Day here in Nigeria. That's so awesome. That's so awesome. And uh, I also understand that you, you're uh, able during these times to work from home. So that's, that's really amazing. Yeah, we get to work from home because of the um, pandemic, COVID-19 pandemic situation. Yeah. Yeah, very good. So it must be very interesting uh, um, to be able to work from home. We do have, here at Exams PM, we do uh, also remote PM courses for people who aren't able or aren't really um, familiar with how to work from home, how to manage people from home. So we do have those courses for our students if they're interested. So um, enough of that stuff. I just want to talk about you right now. So. Uh, Vivian, um, what made you take the PMP? What was, uh, what was there for you? Okay, uh, for me, it was more like um, a personal development mm -hmm. situation. I wanted to know more about managing projects because the, where I work, I manage projects. And I need to understand the nitty gritty of what was involved, what I was expected to do how to manage stakeholders, how to manage contractors, you know, so I, I knew that I needed something more to make my job a lot easier for me. So I decided to go into project management professional PMP and I thought of the exam. Okay, very good. So would you say like, are you a, a, a sort of a PM that's starting out or are you a PM that's been working for a while in the, in the field and you just wanted to improve your, your skills? Uh, I would say I'm probably starting out because this is like my seventh year. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I've been working for seven years now and I've been managing projects. I've been, I've been chart of projects. I've been, I've been a lead on some of the projects. If I'm not coordinating, I'm in charge. You know, I work a lot with um, contractors. I'm in the oil and gas industry. So I have to manage contractors. I have to manage clients. You yes. know, so I, I figured I needed this certification to better understand what I'm doing at work, you know, and to also give me that uh, boost in confidence too. Excellent, excellent. And do you find that uh, getting your PNP has really helped you? Yeah. In fact, when I told my manager I already have my PNP, he screamed and he <laughs> was like, oh my goodness, how were you able to do that? You know, even on that this whole pandemic thing, you are still able to, you know, sit down and study. So it's it's been amazing. It's everyone is like, and it's my first trial. Yeah. So everybody's like, we are one of the minorities of people that write the exam for the first time and they pass. Most people yeah. write it twice before they pass. And I was like, really? You know, so it's been it's been an amazing journey. It's, yeah. it's opened my eyes, it's like a light bulb open my eyes to a different world I'm like oh my goodness look at the things that this is the reason why this is done this is the reason why this is done you know so I makes more sense now everything is you know it's, it was like a puzzle initially but after the PMP it's, it's like a puzzle was now fitting into various you know spaces everything is now coming together you know with the PMP certification you know writing the exam preparing for the exam writing the exam passing it's opened my world to a different light. All those pieces are now come together, glued together. Everything makes sense. I know why procurement acts the way they act. I know why things are being done the way they are done in procurement. I know. I now know why, you know, the reason why your WBS has to be the way it is. Yes. You need to split your, you need to split your um, jobs, your work packages into activities and all that for simplicity, for you to be able to do your estimation properly, you know, so you don't want to go back and forth with management. Oh, this money is not enough. Oh, that money is enough, you know. So it, everything just makes sense now. Right. Wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's, it's like uh, after seven years of, of doing a job, how you can have such a different perspective. On, on how it all works and why you're yeah. doing that. It's just, that's really amazing. It's very inspiring. Yeah, it is. Mm. It is. Yeah. Very, very good. So um, the next thing I wanted to ask you is, uh, 
you know, what is it that you found particularly challenging about uh, about taking the PNP? Like, how was it for you going through the process? Can you tell me about that? Uh, initially, the thought of reading the pin book was overwhelming. Yeah. I mean, thinking at thinking about reading the, uh, reading the pin book, it was just exhausting for me. I was like, yeah. how am I going to even start? Where do I start from? Yes. So I, I, I think I saw a clip of uh, Helena, you know, talking about how you could memorize the, the table, the strategies you could, you could use to get it done, and some of the mnemonics that will help you. I was like, oh my goodness, I think I should um, sign up for this course and see what I could do. And then I signed up for the course sometime, I think late February. Mm -hmm. And then gradually I started reading. I, I listened to her videos. I followed the procedure. There's this Excel sheet she had. Yes. That's what you could achieve per week. And that was like a roadmap for me because I didn't want to seem like I had an open-ended time or duration. I had to stick to that schedule yes. to keep me focused, to always bring me back on track. Right, you know? right. So I was able to follow her procedure. I watched the videos. In fact, when I finished watching, I watched the videos over and over again for me to have a great understanding. And then when I was now reading her notes, I downloaded the notes. When I was reading her notes, it was as if I was seeing her face in each topic again. <laughs> Like I was, I could imagine her, you know, speaking about it, talking about accuracy and um, the difference between accuracy and uh, I think that was in quality, talking about accuracy with the, with the bull's eye, you know, mm -hmm. it was just amazing. It was, it was stressful just because I remember I emailed you sometime and I was telling you, do I still need to read the pin book after reading this material? Yeah. And you told me, oh, well, you could just still read the pin book for better explanation, but it's still okay, yeah. you know? So I didn't read the entire pin book, to be honest. I just read her. I watched her videos, read her notes, read some other notes, did the simulation, did other, I finished the entire simulation, everything. The process areas, the knowledge areas, yes. the others, I did everything. I understood it, you know? And it helped me attempt other questions in other simulations that were not from her. You know, it gave me a wider knowledge. I knew how to answer the question. I knew what I was looking out for. Yes. In you know, in between the lines, yes. because they could throw you a lot of information, but then there are certain things you're looking out for to enable you answer your questions. So Helena really helped me with that. Yeah, that's really great. That's really great. There's uh, there's a couple of things that I wanted to sort of go back to. The first one that you mentioned was about reading the PM Bach, and I get that question a whole lot because the PM Bach is voluminous and, and very, there's so much information there. It's, it just seems overwhelming, like you said. And um, I, I, what I do say to people is that even though our course is, is really self-contained, that you can get most of everything you need from the course, the PM Bach is really a great reference tool so we yeah. do have it in our in our exams like when we do when you get an answer that's uh it shows at the bottom where we get that in the pm box so yeah. if you really need to know and this is really for the students if you really need to know more just go go to that part of the pm box and read about that and yeah. and i think that would help a lot of people yeah and, i did i did that too yeah, yeah. So, you know, that's really what I try to say to people. Like, don't go crazy reading through uh, the PM block, trying to memorize everything. Although some people are, you know, they want to, and that's okay too. But if you're the kind of person that, that uh, like me, that doesn't like to read through the PM block over and over again, then it's, it's really a good, good opportunity. And the second thing you really mentioned that I thought was important was when you're in the exam simulator, do all of the questions, you know, and, you know, do the best you can and keep doing them until you really get, you can see yeah. in the question, what is it they're really looking for? What is that? What is that? I wouldn't say perfect answer, but the best answer. 
Yes, and so, yes. Yeah, did you, did you notice a lot of those questions where, oh my God, like these all sound like they could be right? <laughs> yes, yes, I came across a few, you know, yeah. and then Helena's um, simulator had uh, the questions were more like questions from the pin book that you have to know the answer. Otherwise, you're not going to, if you don't read it or if you don't read the pin book or if you don't read her notes, you won't find it. It's not something that is made up. It's something that is uh, standard, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's just, I mean, I always tell people, I've been telling people, if you don't read the pin book, you can't pass. If, if you don't read the materials, if you don't get the material, to read you can pass because you can't know what the answer is you need to get into that whole uh pmp world for you to really understand okay this is what this question is you know i remember a colleague of mine wrote this exam before i did she i think she wrote hers in february right. and then she gave me a sample of the questions and i couldn't figure out what the answers were i'm like how did you get this answer she yes. said it's because you need to study you need to really study for you to understand the question to help you navigate through the answers. Yes. And that was what I found out at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You have to apply yourself and really work at it. Um, yeah, you need I think uh, one, of the, uh, one of the things that people could, or traps people could fall into, especially if they're very experienced PMs, is like, oh, I know this. Mm -hmm. You know, this should be very easy for me, right? Mm -hmm. I think yeah. that that's kind of a trap. And uh, if you don't really study and take it seriously, it's not going to work for you. Uh, one has to be very intentional about it as well. Yeah. Yeah. Very intentional. Yeah. You mentioned that too, the study guide. Yeah. Sorry. I'm going to say one more thing about the study guide. I'm glad it worked for you. Um, yeah. Everybody who does the elite course has the study guide. So it will show you, um, just for our students, it'll show you all of the different topics and the things you need to do and the relative dates or days yes. that you should do it. Um, and that will really keep you on purpose, on task to get this done in six weeks. And yes. would you say personally, like that that's a very achievable goal for people? Well, it depends on the individual. Okay. You know, yeah. Everyone is different, everybody has a, um, their reading skills are different, the pace are different, the circumstances are different. For yes. me, yes. I'm married with four kids. I have to take care of my husband, I have to take care of my children, I have to take care of the home yes. and still study and still go to work. So it was a lot of, uh, it was demanding, very, very demanding. So because, I, because of the COVID-19, I think I had a little more time and I had to capitalize on that extra time I, 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 I got because of the situation, you know, yeah. so I had, to, I had to capitalize on that. So it depends on individual. Yeah. Yeah, you could actually do it in six weeks. You could do it more than six weeks, but it's, it's just relative. It's yeah. relative, yeah. Yeah, no, that's a really good point. Everybody does have different circumstances. Yeah. And uh, wow, I mean, like four kids doing that at home. Um, yeah. I got to take my hat off to you. There's no way I could do that. <laughs> I, my, during the PMP period, my routine was wake up in the morning, get the kids ready. And, this, and the kids were having virtual classes too. So I oh, had to God. put them through their virtual classes. My husband was helping me with two kids. I was doing for two kids. He was also working at home. He was working from home too. And then as I think I start, I begin to study from around 3 p.m. You know, in between, I dash to go make meals for them. And wow. then my proper study time starts from 9 p.m. when I begin to do simulations. And I stay up from 9 p.m. to about 2 a.m. the next morning. That was my regular schedule. Till oh, my I wrote God. The exam. oh, yeah. Every day? Every day, cool. plus Sunday. Yeah. It wow. was a stretch, but I had to do it. Wow. Because that was the only time I had. I didn't have the time during the day. Yes, yes. So I had wow. to utilize the night time. Right, right. Yeah, I had to utilize the night time. So oh my God, after, that's amazing. After the, after the PMP exam, all of a sudden, it now seems like I had so much time on my hands. But then I was grappling for time. <laughs> wow. So did you do the at-home exam, or were you able to get out and do it at a test center? Surprise, I did it at home here. You did right it? in my living room, yes. Crescent yes. view. Yes. yes. Well, did it, was it good? Like, uh, I did, I did another interview with, uh, uh, 
a fellow a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said it worked pretty well for him. Like, did it work well for you? Yeah, it worked pretty well. I, uh, I, I think I logged on 30 minutes before time, like the mm -hmm. instructor. Yeah. Did all the systems check, everything was A-OK. -okay. And then somebody, Steven, I think, sent me a chat that he was going to call me. And uh, he called me. But prior to that, you know, we had to do the taking of pictures of where you're taking the exam. Yes. You know, the side, the behind, the front, send it to them, do your right. check and all. You know, like the self-checking. Yeah. Then I think my TV was my... Okay, Steve said he saw a blank, a blank thing on my wall. Was that a television? I said, yes. So he said, okay, that I needed to cover it up. So I said, mm -hmm. okay, I, oh yeah, <laughs> I covered it. I sh when I covered it, I told him I had covered it. He said, okay, I should show him uh, through the webcam. I showed it to him through the webcam. I said, okay, that was fine. And then he said, okay, he was not going to set me up for my exams. And that was it. Wow. And they uploaded my exam and I sat through it for four hours. Four Although there was hours. a break after, yeah, there was a break after 100 questions, but I didn't want to go for the break. You didn't I go just, for a break? I just wanted to, I needed to just get the exam done and over with. I was like tired. <laughs> so I sat through the whole exam for four hours and when I was done, I clicked, finished. You no, know, I was prompted, are you sure you're done? I print, I clicked on it and yes, I was done. And my result came out like, uh, 10, 20 seconds. Congratulations, you've just succeeded in completing your PMP exams and all that and all that. Fantastic, so, fantastic. Wow, that's such a great story. And thank you, yeah. thank you for being with us and spending part of your Independence Day with us today. I, I think that's so wonderful. Um, is you. there any last word you'd like to share with the students? Uh, you know, some piece of wisdom that you might impart on? upon them <laughs> for their journey into the PMP exam? Yeah, for, you know, for students that are planning to write this exam, I, I uh, implore you to take it seriously, be intentional, it's very, very important. Have a purpose, have a goal that you don't want to write this exam a second time. I mean, you put in so much effort the first time and let it be the first time, do it right, do it, get it right the first time and get it. You know, just study, put in your best effort, understand the scenarios, understand the questions, mm -hmm. you know, don't just skip through it, understand your questions, go over your notes. I had to read like three, four notes, you know, aside from Helena's, I read a couple of other friends' notes, you know, to see the gaps, to see the lapses, you know, just cover all the grounds. And there is no, word, there's no way your, 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 reward, your effort will not be rewarded. There is no way you study that you won't pass. Definitely. It's a guarantee. Wow. Wow. That's really great. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me, Alan. Yes, you're welcome. You're welcome. My pleasure. Yeah.